What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the Revo K2. Now I actually heard this some time ago and I just thought the sound was absolutely fantastic. I'm a bit of a stickler for very very clear audio. I don't require a huge amount of bass or anything like that but I do require extreme clarity with my audio. Now this device definitely delivers that and not only does it deliver that but it also gives you the ability to stream pretty much any kind of audio that you could ever imagine. It's got last FM, it's got DAB, DAB Plus, it's got FM as well with RDS functionality. It can stream music from any DLNA audio enabled device. So you can stream it from a Synology box or even your Mac or your PC. And it can also play internet radio as well with a choice of over 15,000 stations. So a pretty comprehensive media player. And it really does look absolutely fantastic. This is the actual device here. You can see it's a tower device. But before we come on to that, I just want to show you a couple of the other things that we get inside the box with it. Now, first of all, we get the remote control. And I think it's quite an attractive remote control as well. It's quite thin, it's a little bit plasticky, but it definitely does the job and gives you complete ability to control this device remotely, which is definitely a nice touch with this kind of thing because you don't really want to be walking up to it all the time and pressing the buttons. We get a free subscription to Last FM as well, which is great. I absolutely love Last FM. I don't know if you guys use it. In fact, if you do, um, let me know if you use Last FM because I'd be interested to know if you guys do use it. And then we also get a very comprehensive instruction guide as well. You can see by how thick it is that it's got all of the information that you might require um, along with every single language that you might require as well. So this is the actual device itself. It's a really attractive device, it's quite small and you can actually just put this away in the corner and it doesn't take up a huge amount of room like some of them do and that's why I was specifically looking at this particular device. It gives off absolutely fantastic sound and I found as well if you actually place it in a corner, not up against the wall obviously but just a little bit out, the bass that you get out of this thing is absolutely tremendous where it echoes around using that intelligent acoustic system that it's got. The internals are made of glass fibre as well, so it's very, very rigid internally, which means you get that great clarity and great definition of sound. Now, in terms of the actual screen and the operating system, like I said, it's very, very clear and easy to use. The operating system is very, very simple and very, very intuitive. You can navigate around with the buttons that are on the top of the device or using the remote control by changing the mode, flicking through the different stations and then drilling down into the menu to select the station of your choice or the piece of media of your choice. Also on the front we've got this little robotic section here for the dock itself where we can put anything with a 30 pin dock connector. Now there's a little eject button here that I'm pressing and it's completely motorised to put that away and I quite like that. It's got a very smooth action and it's just kind of gadgety isn't it so we, we like that stuff. Now on the back we've got a selection of ports and inputs and outputs. We've got the acoustic out which gives us that nice bassy sound. We've got a digital out port and then we've got a LAN port as well, an Ethernet port. We've got some outputs for the audio as well and then we've got an auxiliary in along with the power cable and then we've got the Kensington lock there as well. On the top here you can see we've got a kind of rubberized button section where we get complete control over the device and if we're standing next to it we can just press these buttons and away we go. It also feels like it would be very resilient to any kind of spillage or damage that you might have. Also on the top we've got a metal extendable aerial as well to pick up those difficult to pick up radio stations and then on each side we've got a mesh section to actually get the audio out. Now the great thing about this is because it's actually got speakers on each side no matter what position you're in you always get the same quality audio it's completely kind of surround and that's really fantastic with this device. Now if we actually turn it on just so we can have a look at the screen here just while we're doing that I'll note that this thing is completely updatable over the air as well so it automatically detects the latest firmware updates, downloads them and then applies them directly to the device which is great so no plugging it in or anything like that. It also supports Wi-Fi so it will just connect up to your network without you having to plug it in in any way so that's great as well. And then in terms of the screen we get complete descriptions of all of the music that's playing and then simply by clicking the mode button 
we can navigate our way around all of the different modes. So we can see here, for example, we've got iPod, auxiliary in, internet radio, music player, last FM, DAB, FM, and then iPod, and then we're back to auxiliary in again. Once we're into a particular mode, we can drill down inside that, choose the station of our choice, and like I say, on the internet radio stations, there's over 15,000 of them. They've included a nice way to navigate around the internet radio stations as well. You can actually select by country or genre or a whole bunch of different options as well. Now, I'm just going to turn this on and see if we can get a little feel for how it actually sounds. Now, it's not going to be a great way of you guys being able to see how it sounds because obviously it's just going to come through this small microphone, but it'll give you a little idea. Now, this is actually on number 5 of 25. And the audio level now is kind of just about the same as my voice level. If we turn this up, that's now on 10, and it's making me having to shout over it to get any kind of volume. And the sound quality is just absolutely fantastic. Very, very clear. And now we'll boost it right the way up. And And it really does push out a very, very decent volume of sound considering that it's only a, a kind of small device. And the great thing is, right the way up to its top level, you still get that good clarity of sound as well, which I really like. Anyway guys, that was my review of this, the Revo K2. You can pick this up for about £299 retail. If you hunt around, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. And I would say if you're looking for a dock with a load of functionality and the ability to play pretty much any music you want, this is an absolutely fantastic one, especially if you're restricted on space as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.